how the internet got started. A true story. In ancient Israel, it came to pass that a trader named of Abraham Tom did take on to himself a wife by the name of Dot. And Dot Com was a comely woman, broad of shoulder, long of leg, and indeed she was often called Amazon.com. And Dot said unto Abraham, her husband, Why dost thou travel so far from town to town with thy goods, when thou canst trade without ever leaving the tent? Abraham did look at her as though she was several saddlebags short of camel load, but simply said, How, dear? Dot replied, I will place drums in all the towns, and drums in between, to send messages saying what you have for sale. And they will reply, telling you who hath the best price. And deliveries can be made by Uriah's Pony Kids Stable, or UPS. Abram thought long and hard and decided he would let Dot have her way with the drums. And the drums rang out, and they were an immediate success. Abram sold all the goods he had at top prices without ever having to go from the tent. To prevent neighboring countries from overhearing what the drums were saying, that devised a system that would only the drummers and her knew. It was known as Must Send Drum Over Sound, or MS-DOS, and she also developed a language to transmit ideas and pictures. Hebrews of the people, she called it, or HTTP. And the young men did take the dot coms trading, as do it the greedy horse flight picked the camel down. They were known as neurotic evangelical research domain cybernites or nerds. And lo, the land was feverish with the joy at the new riches, the deafening sound of the drums that no one noticed the real riches were going to that enterprising drum dealer, Brother William of Gates who bought off every drum maker in the land, and indeed did insist on drums to be made that would only work with Brother Gates' micro drum heads and soft drumsticks. He called it Microsoft Inc. Dot said, oh, Abraham, what we've started is being taken over by others. Abraham looked out over the Bay of Ezekiel, or eBay as it became known, and he said, we need a name that reflects what we are. And Dot replied, young, ambitious Hebrew owner-operators. Yahoo, said Abram, and because it was Dot's idea, they named it Yahoo.com. Abram's cousin Joshua, the gregarious, energetic, educated kid geek that he was, soon started using Dot's drums to locate things around the countryside. It soon became known as God's official guide to locating everything, Google. And that's how the Internet got started. Anything else you may have heard from politicians about how they invented the Internet is simply a pile of camel dung. For more information on how the Internet can help you and your business, contact Barron's Best Marketing, a cyber marketing, mobile, and video solutions company. You can reach us at palmbeachseoguru.com or call us at 1-800-693-9667.